Now that we've familiarized ourselves with the Podio user interface, let's go ahead and let's start to add some of our own information. In this video, we're going to create our own workspace. To do that, I'm going to go back up here to the top left where it says go to a workspace. I'm going to click and then you'll notice I have my employee network listed, the demo workspace Podio created for us, and then I have the option to create a new workspace, which I'm going to do. So once I click on that, I get a box that pops up. And remember, how you want to set up these workspaces really depends on your organization. And you may even try a few things here in Podio and decide that that isn't the best way to organize things, and then you might change things around a little bit. But the two ways that I recommend is if you're a real small organization with just a few employees, you might want to create a workspace for each one of your clients. That way you can access all of the information that is specific to that client very easily here in Podio. If you are a larger organization of maybe 20 or more employees, you might want to create a workspace for each department of your organization so that the members of that department can easily access all of the information that they need, but they aren't cluttered with information from other departments that may not be necessary for them to complete their job. Now you'll notice in this pop-up box, Podio gives me some options to create some workspaces that already have apps within them. So I can create a project collaboration workspace, a lead management workspace, or an intranet workspace. And these little symbols down here at the bottom are all apps that will be included within that workspace. And unfortunately, we can't actually see which apps those specifically are. But if you take a look at the icons, you can kind of tell. This is probably a contacts app. This is a calendar app, I'm guessing. This would probably be a timesheet or a clock-in app. Uh, so you know, you can play around with these already made workspaces if you like. For our example, I'm actually going to create an empty workspace so that we can add all of the items to it ourselves. So I click on the create an empty workspace area and I get this pop-up box and it asks me what I want to call my workspace. For this example, I'm going to call it sales. I'm going to create a workspace for my sales department. Down here at the bottom, I can choose my access settings. So do I want this workspace to be open and visible for all employees to join? If I do, I can also choose to have it automatically add all of my new employees. Now at the same time, I can also create this as a private workspace so that employees need to be invited to join it, which is what I'm going to do for this example. Once you've chosen the settings that are best for you, go ahead and click the Create and Invite button. It's going to create our workspace, and we're going to get to another pop-up box where we could go ahead and we could add some coworkers to our sales workspace. So down here, I could enter them. If I already had some contacts here in Podio, I could enter them via my Podio contacts. I could use my Google contacts, or I could use contacts here in LinkedIn. Alternatively, I could enter an email address associated with the user. So I actually have somebody that I'd like to add. It's an employee that I have called Graham O'Meara. So I'm just going to enter his email address. By default, Podio has a message for you. Uh, it says that you've set up a workspace and you want that person to join. You can customize this message if you'd like. Then down here at the bottom, you can choose the role that you would like this member to have. Now, if you haven't upgraded to the paid version of Podio yet, the light member option will not be available. We're going to go over these options in detail in a few minutes in this video series, so I'm not going to really go in depth about it right now, but if you want to look for yourself, you can just mouse over this what's the difference link in a pop-up box will come up to show you the difference between all of the roles here in Podio. In this example, I'm going to add Graham as a regular member, and once I'm all set, I can just hit the add one person button. Now, if you wanted to add multiple people at once, you could enter as many email addresses as you'd like here in the box. So once I'm ready, I'm going to click add one person. You'll notice that my workspace is now set up and I'm in here in the sales activity stream. It says that I created the workspace, that I added a new member. I can see that my new member is listed over here on the right. And if I go up to the left workspace area, it says I'm in the sales workspace. If I click on the drop down, you'll notice that sales is now listed with the demo workspace that was already created for me here in Podio. So that is how you can create a new workspace.